Hey, Brian Batt here from Hazelnut, Fine Gifts and Home Furnishings on Magazine Street. I know you know that Magazine Street's the best six miles of shopping in New Orleans, but it's also known for great food. And my favorite is picnic, provisions, and whiskey. Thanks for the recommendation, Brian. Patty said the shrimp rolls are fabulous, and Joyce thinks the smoked fish dip is superb. I'm ready to roll out the blanket and eat. Welcome to Picnics, Provisions, and Whiskey. Jeff, how you doing, buddy? Desi, how are you, my man? Great, man. How's it going? Great. Good to see you. Great to see you. Good to see you again. Love the location. Magazine Street here. Yeah. Why did you pick this location? This location's got a lot of history. My dear friend Daryl Reginelli's got Reginelli's right next door. This is the original Reginelli's where everything started 23 years ago. And so there's a lot of good vibe and a lot of good memories in this location. So Magazine Street has really changed over the years as well. Now it's like the, the hub of uptown locals that really want to come out and enjoy themselves. And here we are, right by the universities, Ottoman Park, delivery, anywhere you want. So the name here, Picnics, Provisions, Whiskey. Yeah. How'd you come up with that concept? I mean, we, we live in New Orleans, we just want to have fun. And so we're kind of extending hospitality to the great outdoors. So we're actually putting together picnics for you so you can come in here, pick out your picnic basket, any kind of fixings along the way. I don't really know what I want and what's gonna go well. Do you do like a chef's tasting? Yeah, we've got picnic basket. That's exactly right. We've got different uh, boxes on the menu, and so you can just pick out the picnic that you want, and we'll wrap up all that food for you, whether it happens to be amazing wild caught Gulf seafood or a spicy fried chicken. And we'll put that together for you. We can call ahead of time, we'll have that waiting for you. So you can pop in, and it's everything you need for have your own picnic. In so and out can, and go. Yeah. Or just have it delivered for free, right? <laughs> that's exactly that's awesome. right. That's awesome. That's outstanding. What do you got in store for us today? We've got some, some smoked fish dip. We're also a Louisiana wild white shrimp roll. It's kind of like a, a New Orleans version of a lobster roll. Outstanding. Well, I can't wait to try. I can't wait yeah. to get in the kitchen. Let's we got, do it. We got that fried chicken, too. Let's do it. Let's go. Right. So we're back in the kitchen with Chef Tori McPhail. He's going to show me a little bit about your smoked dip here. Tell me a little bit about it. So we got some fresh fish today. we got some fresh drum, redfish, even a little bit of catfish. Anything local that you have, or we all are doing this at home, whatever you caught that day. So you can trout, change, could change daily. Yeah, absolutely okay, right. Great. So we smoked this just for about 45 minutes. And so you get this product here. And it's nice and white. So it's got really, real good. Good, yes. rich, smoky flavor. That's, oh, wow. Okay, so all we're really gonna do here is add our, our smoked fish ingredients kind of to our bowl. And this is just some um, some cream cheese. And we like to use some uh, Creole cream cheese. Creole we cream use cheese. Some, and down here we love our spice, right? Okay, so we're gonna use just a, a little bit of cayenne pepper. And keep in mind for the folks at home, the fish has already got a good amount of uh, cayenne pepper, uh, smoked paprika, salt, black pepper on it too. So you don't need to add too, too, too much, okay? A little bit of Creole. We're gonna add in some lemon zest. Good amount of lemon juice to kind of bring back that uh, a good citrusy flavor. Okay, and maybe even just a pinch of salt. And really, all we want to do here, yeah, you want to help me out? You can mix it yeah, up yeah, for us, right? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We just want to try to kind of kind of mix that together. Now, between between all of our places, I go through about 300 tasting spoons a day. I remember back in the day with Chef Emerald. Yeah. You had one in your back pocket at all times, yeah, right? That's exactly <laughs> it. That lemon zest in there. Big and rich and robust. Pops. And all we want to really want to do here is kind of make a little appetizer. We don't take ourselves real seriously here at Pear Picnic. It should just be a fun local neighborhood right. hangout. And so all we really want to try to do here is set it up like so. Put some of these around the outside just for better color. And you can use parsley, you can use cilantro if you want to, if you want to make it a little, a little tropical, a Caribbean feel. A little lemon zest for sure, okay? It's, it's pretty lemony already, so it just kind of makes for a nice wow. little garnish. And then we'll just take some of these little lavash crackers. And this is a spice with olive oil and the fresh lemon juice. And a little bit of sea salt, as you can see, but you can use black pepper and cayenne, cayenne whatever you have. I'm just gonna kind of pop it here like that to kind of make a nicer presentation out of it. And as it hits the table, people are like, wow, look at that, that's great. Really, it's just, Boy. it's fish dip we all kind of grew up with and we all know and love here around the South. Shrimp roll? Shrimp, shrimp roll. Shrimp roll. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this, Chef. Well, I think, I think, I think the first thing we gotta talk about is this amazing bread. This is done by my friend David Wise. He's got Wise Guys Bakery. We've just taken these, we've just gently split them like this. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right on a cast iron skillet and kind of get that nice and crispy caramelized that way. Louisiana shrimp? So that's that's the, that's the big deal. So it's it's the real McCoy, wild caught Louisiana white shrimp right here from the Gulf of Mexico. So we're just gonna take some of these. We're just gonna pop these right in. Celery. Add some, some fresh celery, we do that every morning. That's gonna add a little bit of a, a beautiful crisp, crunchy texture. So some caramelized onions, that's what helps to give our flavor a little bit of base. Okay, okay these are some, um, some fresh roasted peppers. You can use piquillos, anything else you have. And into this, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce vinaigrette. Everybody loves barbecue, barbecue sauce shrimp. 
Right. Yeah, we're also going to add just a touch of Creole seasoning so you know you're in Louisiana. Is this your seasoning? or? Uh, uh, yeah, so we make a custom blend at Commander's Palace. We have that at all, all of our restaurants. And look at this. This is what we want, gang. All the ingredients, just poppy seeds in here, and there's some caramelized shallots. I just, how soft that bread is. It, it's great, huh? It's, it's a, just, it's tender. Some wise guy bread there. Oh my gosh, it's great. The lettuce is gonna kind of make a barrier so it doesn't get the bread soggy. There you go. Okay, so you kind of keep the, the vinaigrette on the shrimp, and then you keep the bread with, that, with the lettuce. I'm just gonna pile this up just gently. So just a little bit more of this barbecue vinaigrette, and just a little bit of some green onions, kind of as a pop, I'll tell you what. Getting this thing together, Kind of pushing all those shrimp down into this amazing, hot, cold, crispy, crunchy kind of a lobster roll. I mean, that is going to be good. What outstanding dish yes. right there. It's going to be great. You huh? go to any picnic with something like this, you're going to be the hit of the party, right? <laughs> I, I think you're you're absolutely right. And we're going to finish this with just a touch of dehydrated crystal hot sauce pulp. Where, where, yeah. you, where are you getting this from? This is kind of a, a secret ingredient for us. So this is just brought to us literally in five gallon buckets by my really, really close friend, um, Pepper Bomber. Oh, God. Yeah, Pepper and his family yes, uh, own Crystal Hot Sauce. And he's like, Tori, man, I got all this crystal pulp, but it's the byproduct. So when they, when they go to strain hot sauce, left over is all the stems, seeds, and skin of all that. And they don't have a home for it, right? So it just ends up, just toss it out. Ooh. What it looks like is kind of like orange sand. So you kind of see the, the look and the texture consistency there, but the smell of it smells like hot sauce, but it's actually dried spice. Wow. Outstanding dish here, chef. Thank you so much. Thank you. You finish up back here, I'll meet you in the dining room. Yeah, sounds great. All right. We split the hot chicken uh, basket and uh, it, was, it was awesome. The first time I came, I got the uh, fish dip, which was incredible. Some of the best dip I've ever had. Overall, it was a really cool environment and we're always looking for kid-friendly restaurants in the area that we can go and enjoy time as a family and get some good food. Well, this is always my favorite part of the show. So we get to sit down and eat all this delicious food. But first off, I'm gonna give you a little toast here, Chef. Cheers. Cheers, man. Eat with your hands, right? Is that yeah. the concept here? Just kind of dig in, picnic style? Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, just... this is... There you go. Yes! <laughs> wow. It almost has like a shrimp remoulade kind of yeah. feel, taste to it. Yeah, that's it. Everything just comes together really well. And this stuff here... Crystal hot sauce pulp? Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's just like magic, extra little bit of seasoning that kicks it off with extra salt, spice, and vinegar, so it's nice and acidic. I want to be able to blindfold somebody, cook them one meal, and I want them to say, ah, oh, I'm in New Orleans. You know? I mean, that <laughs> no seasoning, doubt. the spice, no the doubt. freshness, the authenticity of great Louisiana food. I mean, for a picnic, you show it with something like this. <laughs> I mean, golly, be the, be the talk of the town to that picnic, absolutely. Yeah, this is exactly why we put this restaurant together about a year ago. Yeah. And it's got great, great, great reviews where we can deliver a picnic anywhere you want in the city. Call us up. We'll shake out your own picnic blanket, just like you and I have here today. So when you yeah. say that, so do you sell a whole setup? It's one-stop shopping. No. My, my friend Daryl Reginelli and T. Barton and I, we got together one day and they say, Tori, what are you doing on your off days? And I said, well, shoot, I'm gonna put the paddle boards on top of the Jeep. I'm gonna grab the girl and the puppies. We're gonna go to Bayou St. John, but I always have to go to three or four places to get everything I need to make my own picnic for right. floating out there. But so you can come here and you can, you can pick out the basket you want. We'll fill it up with any any, any kind of fixings y'all want as well, with some bottles of champagne, a Sazerac, a little whiskey for you. It's a good spicy fried chicken and, um, and get you onto your own picnic. Hey, so it's fun, it should just be fun. I'm getting all sloppy. I'm listening to you, but <laughs> this food's so good that I can't wait to have a next picnic. You know, and that's one thing we love about New Orleans is great food, great chefs, and doing a lot of great things for our community. I appreciate that, Chef. Thank you so much. Well, good. Well, thanks for being here. All right, thank all right. you. Thank you.